Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with more Let's Play Shining Force CD, and we are here in the, I guess, clearing ambush. This really doesn't have a good name. Um, so, yeah, and I really don't like where I'm at in this fight at all. Um, so, yeah, let's just... Let's just see what damage we can do. Nine points of damage with Freeze. That's okay. Um, Apis... Let's, let's go ahead and kill him, because I really don't like having him there, because he's, he's got... He's got range. Alright, so we've got two enemies left to deal with before we deal with the upper section. That's fine. Uh, let's see how much damage Nick can do against the Lizard Man. Thirteen! Okay, that's not too bad. The problem is, like, I... I, I look at a lot of the scaling here, and I'm, I'm very... very confused. So, we have, essentially, a... a level three spell, which should do a ton of damage but it really doesn't seem to do as much damage because there are hidden resistances. There are... A couple of people have commented, like, yes, that's not how... Like, you don't want to do that because he's resistant to ice. You should use fire, or vice versa. And I'm like... It would be helpful if the game actually told you that. Like, it would, it would be helpful if there was some sort of indicator of what would be useful against what. Because when you look at a, a spell that has no other, you know you know, supporting information, you think, okay, if it's got, if it takes more MP, in theory, it should do more damage, especially when there's not, you know, indicated stats. Like, okay, but no. No, that's, that's not, not how it works. <laughs> like, I get the, the level 2 spells not doing too much more damage, because they're, like, just level 1 spells with AoE, but, yeah. Anyway, alright, so, uh, we have something to explore, and if we examine this bush, and you have to be facing the bush, uh, it doesn't matter what side you are facing it from, you just have to be examining, you just have to be facing it to examine. Uh, if we search this bush, Claude found Domingo! Ah, rescued at last. I owe you my life. What may I do in return? What may I do? And Domingo the Mikrit has joined the force. And I know it's supposed to be magic creature, but I think it's like a, a failed McDonald's sandwich like the McDLT. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's that's where I'm, I'm going with that joke. And none of you can stop me. Uh, <clears throat> in all reality, uh, it's it's actually a good thing to have Domingo in the party. He is an incredible caster. Uh, you know, his designation is magic creature. He is a floating magic jellyfish, um, with with ridiculous eyes. But still, that's that's fantastic. Like he 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 has some fantastic magic capabilities. I might switch him out for Yisha because I really don't need that many casters. Especially since I'm not really finding that I like casters in Shining Four CD because of not knowing what spells to cast where is a as appropriate um, is is kind of a a, a slightly obnoxious thing. Um, so yeah, I'll I'll probably switch out one of my casters for Domingo because I don't need two casters at the moment. Alright, and we have to be careful because, again, um, there is one... Well, the Gargoyles have Blaze, so we want to be careful about that. So I'm going to start spreading people out a little bit more now. And uh, just kind of being very careful. Uh, the, the Gargoyles have Blaze, and then the, uh, the Sorcerer has Freeze, too, so... Again, AoE is something we want to keep in mind. Um, I I really need to heal Claude. He, I'm just not going to get close to him 
anytime soon, it seems. So we'll just go ahead and heal him from afar. And one thing I've, I've been sitting here thinking about, like, Mayfair's sprite as a vicar, she looks amazing. That is a really well done sprite. Especially since all of the sprites in Shining Force 2, especially, like, the, the vicar, uh, just looks ridiculous. Alright, does he have Blaze 3? I thought it was Blaze 2. Alright, and the worms. So that's, that's what we wanted to keep in mind. Uh, yeah, Blaze 2, so that just looked funny. Um, worms. HP of 29, attack of 31, defense of 22, agility of 13, movement of 4. And they can poison you by attacking you. So, that is just a barrel of fun all around. But, however, I really don't want the, um, the gargoyles, because they also do have muddle, which I, I just, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with. But right now, at the moment, all I've really got is, I, I can do, like, piddly amounts of damage here and there. Especially with my casters, because that's how this just seems to work. Alright. Gargoyle dead, Nick is level 2, that's good. He does need to be healed, because I do kind of have him overextended at the moment. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus down on the Gargoyle with Shade, because Jesus Christ, 25 points of damage. He can almost one-shot. That is beautiful. Alright, um, so yeah, I kind of want to keep him... Off to the side, and then uh, I kind of want to distract the worms a little bit. 16 points of damage, not bad, and Apis levels up off that. Not a great level up, but not a bad level up. Alright, um... Let's, let's go for killing the worm. And I killed the worm! I was not expecting to do that, but he's also level 2. I probably didn't need to kill him with, with Sig, but... That's fine. Let's... Let's do this and heal Nick while I have the chance. And we, we we don't have nearly as many bad guys to deal with at the moment. And especially once I take out the Gargoyle, I'll be a little more comfortable. Because that's an AoE that I don't have to worry about. I still have to worry about poison because I don't have any antidote herbs. But I do believe my Vicar has detox. So... Okay, that that gave me a small heart attack. I was expecting him to make a beeline for me. I was not expecting the bishop to run down and attack for one point of damage. My master monk. Okay, let's... Roost take six points of damage. Okay, he didn't get poisoned. That. Alright, they don't like Sig. I don't know why they don't like Sig, but they don't like Sig. And that's okay. Um, because Sig doesn't really like them either. Let's have Roos attack the worm. All I can think of is the fact, every time I say worm, all, like, the only thing that keeps rushing through my head is the Fatboy Slim weapon of choice. If you walk without rhythm, you won't attract the worm. And... That is in my head, and I cannot get it out right now, and it is bothering the hell out of me. I'm like, because all I can see is Christopher Walken kind of dancing around. Like, because that's the second, like, his hands are in his pockets, he's kind of, like, walking, like, with, with interesting rhythm. Like, if you walk without rhythm, you won't attract the worm. And I can't, I, I just can't stop that, that one section of the song. It keep, it's just on repeat in my mind. Send help. All right, we're down to one worm, and I need to go back to spreading people out just a little bit because, again, I do not like the fact that that sorcerer has freeze too. And Shade is now level two, fantastic. Who else still needs to level? Uh, let's see. Mayfair, Yisha, Gaian needs to. I don't... I'm probably not going to be using Gaian. 
really wish I could, but he's not endearing himself to me this playthrough. Uh, Cray... Win Windy. Okay, so... Basically... No one that I can be using at the moment. So let's have... Sig heal himself. May... I, I really do need to... To do something with Mayfair. I... J Cray! Do some damage, and then I'll see... I don't think I can do 13 points of damage with with Mayfair. Alright, let's move you up here. Yisha. Um... Uh, yeah, let's, let's do that. That might get him low enough to where I can... I don't think it's gonna get him low enough to where I can kill him with hell. Yeah. I don't think... I don't think I can do 7 points of damage. Why are you people after Sig? What did he do? Um... Wendy also needs this, so let's... If I kill him, I kill him. If I don't, I don't. I'll kill him with Mayfair. Nine points of damage. Bishop has got... He dropped the Demon Rod, so now we have a Demon Rod. That's good. Um... Apis, you want to do some damage, and then we'll get we'll get Gaian up here and see if we can get Gaian to kick him. Because I kind of want to see how much damage Gaian will actually do. Oh God, that's I did not realize he could catch me, and he could catch me. That's a lot of people getting hit with freeze. Alright, um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna heal. Uh, I'm gonna heal Sig, cause he's, I don't know why, but Sig is tanking this fight for me, so, yeah. Alright, yeah, you do that, um, who has, who has lowered defense? 24, 20, uh, Fine. Let's kick the sorcerer. Critical hit of 12 points of damage. Now, that was a critical. That is not good. Um, that is not good by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, let's heal Gaian. Alright, Gaian's not gonna die yet. I still need to heal Yisha. And that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. Do I not have... I guess I do have that equipped. I guess it just still takes up a slot. Alright. I do not need to get a kill with you. I do not need to get a kill with you. But I do need to start spreading people out a little bit more. So... Alright. Alright. Alright, so, let's see. 16, 17, let's, let's do this. I'm casting a level 3 spell for 10 MP. 15 points of damage. And Yisha's level 2. Not terrible, I can... probably get the kill now with, uh, with Mayfair. And that's, that's what I'm gonna try to aim to do. Um... And let's heal you. I'm just gonna go through all of my medical herbs, apparently. Cause I, I want I want the people who are still level one to actually still be able to do something. Alright, um I'm gonna move Sig right there. Cause he seems to be attracting the attention of of everyone. Alright, um Let's do some damage to you. Wendy's still level 1. I don't think she's going to kill him. Yeah, she's definitely not going to kill him. I will, however, attempt... Oh, that's 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 going to kill him. But that... Oh, nope, because he blocked. Alright, Gaian... Critical? Nope. Um, 
That should be fine for now. Really? Alright, Roos might die. But what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm going to kill him. For sure. And then hope that that's enough to level her up. Okay, good. She's level two. So now I just need Windy. And I need Cray. So... Yeah. Let's bring you up there and see if we can get... What are you... Okay, he is not doing anything. Alright, um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack him. Mostly because Cray needs to level up. And Cray leveled up. Okay. So it's just Windy now, right? And what is Windy's to next level? If she kills him... Then we'll be alright. I just need to kill him. And in the meantime, I'm gonna heal Roos again, because holy crap... Alright, there we go. I will have everyone level 2 by the end of this fight. Alright. 8 points of damage. So, he has freeze, but he's apparently not weak to freeze. Or he's not strong against freeze, because that did more damage than... See, that, that's what gets me. It's like, you have an expectation of, oh, if, if they have the spell, that's what you expect them to be resistant to, because they have the spell. Nope. Not how it works at all. Alright, let's just have these guys beat up on on the deadly one. Or, sure, I wasn't expecting Claude to do that, and Claude is my first person to level 3. Sure. Master, I have failed, but no one has ever survived the magic mushrooms. May the death tunnel be your tomb. Well, like, a, with a name like Death Tunnel. No mere curse can stop us now. Come on, let's check out the death tunnel. I... I... <laughs> he literally said, let's take out... Or, let's check out the death tunnel. Alright, so, let's... See, we have hit. We we've kind of hit where we can go. So um, he's got blaze three and freeze three. I really I really think Yisha's gonna go. Um, cause let's see, we've got Yisha. She's got thirty one MP. Wendy's got thirty two. Yusha's got 14 defense. Wendy has 17. And so, let's see. 31 MP, 14 defense. 26 MP. So he has less MP, but he's got higher defense. And he has access to two level 3 spells. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to switch him out for Yusha. Actually, I might switch him out for Gaian, because... Gaian's got 36 attack, but his defense is 18. Like, Claude has 24, and he's a birdman. Like, that's just... He's got really high attack, but he's, like, just a glass cannon. We'll, we'll try Yisha for now. Just to bring Domingo in. Um, and let's let's take a look at Domingo. I have not gotten a chance to do that because he he is new, and that way we can actually get a look at all of his stats. Domingo comes to us level three, HP of 28, MP of 26, attack of 25, defense of 18, agility of 15, movement of six, and I do believe he comes as a flying creature, so he's not really unencumbered. At least you know he's not encumbered by. A terrain, even if he's not counting as a flying creature. And again, Blaze 3 and Freeze 3. So, not a bad, bad addition. Uh, he's he's going to be fun to to get used to. Um, and then, 
Oh, the next fight. I think I'm just going to go ahead and end this episode here. And I will see you all in the next installment. Um, we'll go ahead and save, because there's a lot going on in the next fight. So, yeah. I'll, I'll stop here. I'll see you in the next installment. So, uh, till then, later everyone.